What's hood, everybody? Welcome to OmniPro Audio. My name is Jace Ace and I am your mentor. Today, we're going to go over how to install Pro Tools on Mac OS Monterey. What's good, everybody? If you haven't seen my last video, Pro Tools, free trial and iLock setup, go back, watch that video, give me a big thumbs up. And if you wanna install Pro Tools on Windows, the link is in the top right hand corner of this video. Let's get to it. We're continuing from setting up the Pro Tools free trial, my Avid account, iLock account, and linking the two together. The next thing we're gonna do is take a look at compatibility and get Pro Tools installed. In the real world scenario, you probably wanna check compatibility before you even sign up for the free trial. But here we are. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and navigate back to protools.com and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna click here where it says try free for 30 days. So it's gonna take us to the page where you set up your Avid Master account. We already did that in a previous video, so we're just gonna skip down to minimum system requirements. All right, so what we're looking at now is an Avid Knowledge Base article. Things do change from time to time with Pro Tools and compatibility, so you can always follow the steps I previously gave you to get to the latest article. So we already knew that Avid Pro Tools supported Mac OS Monterey, but as of June 30th, 2022, Pro Tools now supports Monterey version 12.4. So that's Pro Tools 2022.6 will work on Monterey 12.4. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit and take a look at the latest Pro Tools compatibility notes. At this moment, Avid expects the latest version of Pro Tools to work on Mojave, Catalina, Big Sur, and Monterey. This doesn't necessarily mean that they won't work on older operating systems. However, Avid will not be testing any Mac OS older than Catalina going forward. Let's go ahead and click on the Avid knowledge base, Big Sur, Monterey, and M1 support for Avid products. Keep in mind that this article was last updated on June 27, 2022, so it won't include the compatibility for Monterey 12.4 that we just saw in the Pro Tool System Requirements KB article. You can subscribe to this article to receive updates if your Mac or your Mac OS is not yet supported with the version of Pro Tools you're trying to install. Avid will send you an email in the future every time they update this KB. We're going to scroll down where we can see the matrix of all the Pro Tools product compatibility for Apple computers running Big Sur and Monterey. If you're wondering what I'm using, I'm running Monterey 12.4 on a late 2018 Mac Mini. If you're running an older OS, you should be okay to at least upgrade to Mojave, Big Sur, or Monterey with little to no issues. Hit me up for tech support if you're having issues or if you're still unsure of what to use after reviewing these articles. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go back to the Pro Tools system requirements. Scroll down a little bit further to the minimum system requirements for Macintosh computers. Keep in mind that these are recommendations from Avid. And just because your computer does not have these exact recommendations does not mean that it won't work with Pro Tools. Avid recommends that you have an Apple chip or Intel Mac running Mac OS, Mojave, Catalina, Big Sur, or Monterey. If you're installing Pro Tools Artist or Pro Tools Studio, Avid recommends that you have an Apple chip or Intel i5 processor. If you're installing Pro Tools Ultimate or Flex, Avid recommends that you have an Apple chip or Intel i5 or i7 processor. Avid recommends that your computer has 16 to 32 gigs of RAM, an internet connection for the installation, at least 15 gigabytes of hard drive space, Thunderbolt 2 or Thunderbolt 3 ports, USB ports, Firewire ports, your computer should have at least one of these ports to connect your interface. For more information, you can see this article here. Now that we took a look at compatibility, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down and take a look at computer optimization. Optimizing your system will simplify the software installation and minimize performance issues with Pro Tools. It's best to follow these optimization guides for your computer, because this could prevent a bunch of unwanted issues. We're gonna go ahead and click here on the hyperlink and take a closer look. All right, so now we're on the KB article for computer optimization guides. Scroll down and click on the Mac OS that you're gonna be installing Pro Tools on today. Okay, so here's the guide for Mac OS Monterey 12 optimization and troubleshooting. I suggest that you click on each one of these links 
and follow the instructions to optimize your computer. This is going to give you far less problems with Pro Tools, issues that people hit me up and pay me to assist them with all the time. If you follow these steps, you can spend more time making music and less time troubleshooting. Now that we made it through that much needed but very boring information, we're picking up where we last left off in the last video, Pro Tools free trial setup. So we're back in our email and we're gonna click on get software updates. This is gonna take us back to the Pro Tools website where we can sign into our My Avid account. Now that we're signed into our My Avid account, we're gonna click on view my products. Next, we're gonna click the drop down arrow next to Avid link. This is going to get us access to the Avid Link installer. Go ahead and click on View Software Download Links and Product Details. Make sure that you click on the Mac hyperlink so that you get Avid Link for Mac OS. Now you're going to click on the Avid Link download below that. This download is likely to go to your Downloads folder. We're going to go ahead and open up Finder so that we can begin the installation of Avid Link. Navigate to the Downloads folder and we're going to go ahead and open and run the Avid Link installer file. Click on install and follow the prompts. When done, click finished so we can open up Avid Link and start the Pro Tools installation. At this point, you're going to be prompted to put in your computer credentials. So this isn't your My Avid account information or iLock information. These are the credentials that you use to log into your computer every day. Accept the terms of the license agreement and before we hit continue, there's two ways you can do this. You can either do a manual install and install Pro Tools plus all of the plugins and drivers separately, or you could do the Express install. So what do I recommend? I recommend doing the Express install. It'll go ahead and install everything for you silently in the background. But after you do that, I recommend going to the settings and turning off automatic updates and automatic installs. The reason why I suggest doing this is because sometimes Pro Tools may come out with an update and that update may not be supported by your current operating system and then you're dead in the water and you can't use Pro Tools. So when it comes to the install, do the express install. When it comes to updates, you want to do those manually when you're ready. Let's go ahead and click continue. Okay, so for this video, I went on and selected the no thanks use external install option. So I can show you guys what it looks like when you don't do the express install. You'll see here under products that you have a list of all of the Pro Tools software that you can install. You will just simply click on install and follow the user prompts to install Pro Tools as well as any other free plugins that came with Pro Tools. Now remember, if you click continue instead of the no thanks option on this page, Avid Link is going to install everything for you. And the only thing you need to do is just check the status of everything being installed. Earlier in the video, when we were talking about compatibility, you may have noticed that I had my computer system information up on the screen. So the way you get to that is by clicking the apple here in the top left hand corner and then clicking on about this Mac. And that'll take you to the page where you can see the specs for your computer. All right, so a few more things about Avid Link. If you ever need to open Avid Link and you can't find it, it's gonna be right here at the top of your menu bar. And it's gonna be the white pyramid shape icon with the circle around it. You can then left click to open Avid Link to get some additional options. We're gonna go ahead and choose preferences because this is where we're gonna turn off automatic updates and automatic installs. Okay, so we have admin functions checked, hide Avid Link after launch checked, under install options, I went on and unchecked install apps silently, update apps automatically. This should keep you from getting a Pro Tools update that you're not ready to update to yet. All right, so now that we got everything installed, it wouldn't be right for me to end this video without actually launching Pro Tools. As long as you have an internet connection, you don't need an iLock. We can activate Pro Tools using iLock Cloud. Let me show you how to do that. We're gonna go ahead and launch Pro Tools from the dock All right, so we got an activation error. Let's go ahead and click next and see what we get. How will we like to activate? Let's go ahead and do the iLock account activation option. 
Go ahead and enter your iLock account, user ID, and password. This should be the same as your MyAvid master account that we did in the last video. Clicking OK on this screen will open a cloud session. Open cloud session success. Your cloud session was successfully opened. Nice. We're going to go ahead and click next. All right. Yeah, everything loading up good. So we're going to go ahead and let Pro Tools scan all the plugins. Now we got the Pro Tools dashboard. I'm just going to go ahead and open up one of these random templates. All right, there we go. We got the session open. All right, so go back and watch my first video, Pro Tools Creating the Session. Go watch my video, Pro Tools, How to Find the Tempo. Check out Pro Tools IO Setup. If you're having trouble where you're getting clicks and pops in the audio that you import, check out Pro Tools Clicks and Pops on Import Audio. You got a Digi 002 or 003 rack or control surface. Go watch my video on how to get that working with any version of Pro Tools on Mac OS. And if you haven't seen the video that came before this one, Pro Tools 2022 free trial and iLock setup, go check that out too.